Hello, hello, this is Arrowlay here, back again with some more commentary, but this time for a new event. We're here for the Roses of May Lost Chapter Lufenia. I've pulled for Beatrix, took me quite a number of tickets, but I have her, and I've decided to use a defensive strategy to tackle this Lufenia utilizing Beatrix, Nine, and Kieran. I've got a Cloud BT friend here. I'm probably not going to use his BT effect. I didn't need to when I did this in the practice run. So, with that said, let's get into this fight because it's a bit of a doozy. So, <laughs> this this battle is something. <laughs> that's for sure. It's it's um it's it's something. It starts off pretty easy in a way because they don't start with the Lufinia Orb. They will not obtain their Lufinia Orb until they are under 70% of their HP. Once that happens, the Orb will not disappear at any point. And the only way to raise the Orb count is to do Dispels. Now, this Lufinia thankfully has two good Dispellers. At our synergy, we have Beatrix with her LB, and we have Vanille, who also just recently got her character boards, and is also a viable option if you can bring some big boy damages to go with it. So we're going to go ahead, and we just finished buffing up our characters, and the reason why I did not use the LB on turn one with Beatrix is, as you can see, the bosses... Once one of them has taken their turn, will buff themselves a whole bunch. They also actually remove any debuffs that are on them framed or, you know, not. So, something to keep in mind if you're using somebody like her or even Machina not to use your LD on turn one. Be very careful about that. Alright, we're going to Holy Strike. Holy Raw Strike so we can get some big boy damages in there. And now we're going to go ahead and activate Shock. Um, our Beatrix here. Okay, and now it is Nine's turn. We're going to go ahead and activate Whirling Lance Plus. I have to time the um, Primal Wars a little carefully because they are not going to constantly be on the field. Alright, so this time we're going to um, activate Bash from him. Because you only get a seven or so, yeah, you get seven Primal Wars. You need to be kind of time them carefully. We are going to wind up swapping nine at some point, but it will not be yet. So let's go ahead and Thunder Slash Plus. All right, there we go. Wow, two brave webs on nine from that Faraga attack. That's wild. All right. So on this one, we're going to Primal War again. Get our shields back up a little bit. All right, we're going to Clem Hazard. I'm going to go ahead actually on this turn and not activate the EX. I'm going to activate Soul Shot Plus for a little bit of splash damage there. And we will use our Laser Lance to help our team out here. Now, with the buffs from Nine and Beatrix and Kieran himself, there is a way to get six frame buffs on him, which is fun. That means I don't have to worry about the poison attack debuff on him. But the other two, unfortunately, can't quite hit that number. So right now we will activate uh, the... Yeah, we'll go for Saint's Claw. And get some battery going. So right now this is the easy part of the fight. It's not tricky yet. So now we're going to activate the Caravan of Memory so we can refresh our EX buff and also break both targets. Okay. 
we will go ahead and do another high jump plus here and spare some of our skill uses. Okay, very nice. That was, that was very cool. Zero damage there because they weren't able to gain any brave. All right, and there you go. Nine shields doing their job, protecting me from some serious damage. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and use another Holy Bra Strike and get that nice 82,000 on both targets done. Now we want to go over here. I have to make sure that this is timed correctly. Okay, yes, we're fine. We can do another one of these. So the idea here is uh, on the HP attack recast that's coming very soon, we want to make sure that we have some way to deal with it. Now there's a couple ways you can handle these HP attacks from the recast, and they need to be some sort of damage mitigation to, to be okay, by the way. It's very important. You need it, you absolutely must have it, or you will die. There's really nothing you can do about it. It does do double dumps, so you can't use Last Stand to pretty much live it. Now, you can use Freeze Joker Call action from Setsu. That is one actually viable way to live the attack. I'm not going to need it this time, but I do have it set on one of my characters here. But we're going to use Beatrix's um, Holy Knight's Protection to help us. So we're going to go ahead and hit A. All right, and another way to live it is just to lower their max, I believe you can lower their max brave enough so that they can't really kill your guys, but you've got to have some sort of mitigation or you just outright don't let the boss ever get turns to cast the recast. Those are your options, honestly. So at this point, we're going to go ahead and white knight pretty sure they're going to get ready at some point during this to do an HP attack so we'll be okay. And we're going to go ahead and Primal War again. Okay, and we'll do the Caravan of Memories because I just want to get as if this boss, I don't think it's going to do the HP attack at this step. It should do the, uh, what is it, the, oh I guess it is doing Pouring Rod. So there you go, I'm going to be protected from that HP attack from um, nine in his LD buff. So, cool. All right, and I don't want to activate shock again until I get them under 70%. So we're gonna go ahead and we're going to Clint Hazard again. Okay, now at this point, I believe, I believe I need to use the LD buff. Yes, World's Memories is the LD buff from, for Kieran. So we're gonna go ahead and activate that. All right, so as you can see, when one of them goes under 70% at this point, both of them will buff. That's okay at this point. We're gonna go ahead and activate our laser lance from nine, and we are going to debuff them in a moment. Hoping to get the second one under here. All right, we are good. So now we're going to activate the shop. And they should be debuffing themselves or rebuffing themselves each time they use most of these moves, which is good for me. Because we need to make sure that we're constantly doing a dispel to keep that counter nice and healthy and we won't die to the uh, recast from the orb. All right, so here we are going to go ahead and activate a whirling lance plus. Now with my free action, my free skill use here, I'm going to activate, of course, Holy Raw Strike. That's probably the one you should use a good 99.9% .9 of the time. Now, we are going to use, hmm, I think here, hold on. Uh, I don't think I have much shield left on him, but that's okay. I think we'll be all right if we do it. Uh, oh well, it was absolute chaos, that's, that's kind of nasty. Um, Alright, 
So here we will go ahead and use a Holy Knight's Safeguard. And why not? We'll go ahead and just go right in the Caravan of Memories. Caravan Memories. So Kieran's damage is quite good in this fight. Um, it, it, it's sort of weird. There's, it seems like there's a couple of good different strategies. I'm choosing to go the defensive route, but there is a legitimate route with... Ooh, okay, I gotta think this through. Uh, I gotta count real quick to make sure I can... I can uh, hmm. Okay, so that would take it to two and one. Ooh, uh, that's that's uh, that's a bit scary, but we can do it. All right, so we are going to go ahead and white knight. Okay, and now we will go ahead whirling that. Did I mess this up? I think I might have miscounted. Oh, no, okay, I did not. Okay, I got a little worried there. But as you can see, um, we're gonna hit, we're gonna go ahead and hit um, A over there and make sure that counter goes up again. So we are going to go with a Thunder Slash Plus. This is very tricky, by the way, to, to do this this bell method because you gotta constantly be doing it, and they don't make that exactly easy. So we're gonna go ahead and hit A with a bash. And I think at this point, I'm going to go ahead and we're gonna summon our cloud friend. We'll go ahead and do the blade beam. So this is going to dispel at least one buff. I did check this friend. They are able to do the dispel with the World of Illusion weapon, as you can tell. So this is going to help us be able to continue. All right, and we're gonna go ahead and hit A with a Holy Ra strike. Ah, that's very nice. Okay, so I can choose either one now, and I'm gonna go with hitting B here because he has a little bit more health and I wanna keep them pretty equal. Okay, not bad for our launch there. Now how about this? This is where, <laughs> um, things get interesting so even if I were to finishing touch here on one of them it actually seems to dispel on both of them I'm not really sure what the deal is with that considering it only hits one target but let's go ahead and blank beam again okay we'll just go ahead and activate that HP attack and go in with a brave attack from Beatrix ah great and special launch there either but respectable enough okay so here they go they out they they do this again where they at the 50% mark will buff themselves, they will remove all debuffs, no matter what kind, and they will apply a bunch of um, buffs on themselves. It's quite annoying. They're also going to do this one more time after this at the 30% mark, once they get under there. One of them has to. Only one has to do that. Now, I'm going to go ahead and activate yet another blade beam. That's pretty much all I'm going to do with Cloud. Right. And here I will activate a Knight's, Holy Knight's Safeguard for us. Now this time I won't be doing another Blade Beam. I will follow up instead with a different attack. Okay, so here, now we have a free skill, but I'm not going to worry about using that. We're going to just go ahead and activate the Omni Flash version 5. I really love this animation. It's such a cool one for Cloud to have. No, no, just, it's, it's just so cool. It, but I'm very happy he got something that's so nice. 
All right, and we dispelled yet another buff. Now they're gonna heal a little bit, and that's okay. I thought it was more important to, to live than that HP attack on the recast. That, that stuff's nasty. Okay. as much as we can because I'm almost certain if I don't this will be death and that would be awful there we go 3,000 grave left we're okay on Kieran All right now next we need to look at ourselves here and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna remove well there's no buffs to remove this time but we want to keep that HP similar on the percents for the enemies. Let me see what we have on him. Rebellious Fang and World Memories. Okay, we're alright. Let's go ahead and use another one of these bad boys. In. <laughs> Beautiful, 95,000. See, I thought I wasn't going to use that BT effect, but it wound up coming in clutch. So, for the last skill... Let's go ahead and we're going to finish and touch B here. And we'll just attack with Kieran's brave attack there. I don't really want the boss tonight to get dragged through not having a lot of skills being used for too long because that counter goes down a lot faster than you think. And we've got to constantly be dispelling with our Beatrix here. a buff on it, so we're going to go ahead and hit B with Clem Hazard plus plus. Now I might try to just get that one under 30 really fast. I don't know. Um, I guess we'll go ahead. You know what? We can go ahead and do a laser lance here. This will be a safe play. It also heal, heal my Kieran up. Yeah, that was a good play then. He'll live that now. I don't know if he would have quite lived it otherwise. Oh, disgusting. Look at that. Those HP attacks, they are no joke. All right. We can safely white knight and still get that dispel off on A over there. That's exactly what we're gonna do. So let's go ahead and prime Roar. And we will no Thunder Slash. We had to redo the LB buff one second. Yes, we do. I believe. Let me check. World's Memories. Do I have World's Memories? No, I don't. So there we go. We're going to go ahead and do World's Memories then. Remember, we are protected on this next recast by Nine, who has done his White Knight buff on us. So we are going to be just fine. We're going to go ahead here and we're going to Whirling Lance Plus and heal up here in a little bit. All right, and we were safe yet again. Next, we're going to go ahead and we're going to try to get B over here under 30% because I'm tired of that. But before we do that, go ahead and activate a thunder slash. We're about to summon, but not quite yet. We want to wait just a little bit longer before we do that. Okay, so now that we have them under the 30% mark, at least on one of them, we're going to go ahead and do another Holy Rosh, right? 
battery, the party, and all that good jazz. And next, we're going to laser lance. Right, and now we can go ahead. It's not the greatest that, you know, Clem Hazard's up and everything, but we seriously do gotta do this spell. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. With our last shock, now we still have our summon, which is great. I don't think he's gonna take anything from that because we had nice, big, fat, healthy shield still. Great. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna activate the Caravan Memories. go. Let's keep those buffs up. Okay, not bad. It, it did break the shield, but that's okay in this case. I am now going to go ahead. I'm going to boost thrust here because I'm going to try to waste a couple turns down to make the next dispels I do worth it. Okay, and then we will go ahead and do another whirling lamp. Okay. It's bash. I don't think I've done it again in, in a little bit, so I don't really remember where we're at. Oh, very nice. Those shields are staying up a lot longer than I anticipated. Now we can go ahead and Clem Hazard. Go ahead and find a war. All right, can we protect it from yet another nasty attack? Okay, so here, just taking a quick look at what we have going on. We see that they each have buffs. So here's what I want to do. I'm going to go ahead and let A have an attack. So that has yet another buff. And we're gonna summon very soon. So here we're going to go ahead and soul shot plus. He's probably oh, I thought they were gonna get a bit more hits there, but I thought he was gonna be broken. So that is great that he did it. So here's what we are going to do now. We are gonna go ahead and go for our summon at this point. Take advantage of those last few turns we have on this. So let's go ahead and Saint's Claw. And that will put us back at 13 on that. And, hmm, I think we could do, do yeah, let's do a Whirling Lance here because this is going to do some nice damage. There we go. Now I do have some holy raw strikes left, and I definitely want to make sure we get all those used. And let's go for the big boy damage. There we go, 99,999. And why not, yet again, Thunder Slash for another 99,000. Okay, beautiful. Now we have a laser lance ready. Let's go ahead and hit A, since it has a little bit more HP. I'm going to use my last Holy Raw Strike instead of using Caravan of Memories here. I knew we would get very close to max there. Okay, now that we have a lot of HP left, let's go ahead and White Knight for a final time with our team. Because at this point, we need to just dump everything we have into it. There we go, now we have nice, fat, healthy shield. We're going to go ahead and we're going to Clem Hazard again. Okay, remember we have very nice, fat, healthy shields. We should be okay for these two attacks. Okay, we lost the shield on that last hit for Kieran, but that's okay here. 
we're going to go ahead and we're going to Whirling Lance. We're very close to killing these enemies, so we want to get them down soon. Okay. Um, let's see. Thinking here. Okay, we have two launches it looks like we can perform. Potentially, if we wanted to. out so I think we'll be able to kill this one but I'm going to play it on the safe side we have to do an HP attack here to protect our characters all right and that will do zero because we have paladin protection and this one will also do zero because we still got it it's until Beatrix's next turn Whenever that happens to be. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to do a whirling lands on B because that one is closer to that zero counter. We got to get rid of that one first if possible. This may wind up killing them, but I'm not sure. Okay, not quite. And that's okay. We're about to finish it. So we're going to go ahead. I see a launch is ready. This might actually get them. Oh, yep. There we go. And that's it. That's a fun way to win. I always love winning with a launch or with my, my favorite characters, EX or LD. Something fun like that. Something big. Big finishes are the best. So there we go. That's pretty much it for this fight. <laughs> um, you definitely need to pace yourself carefully here and know when the recast is coming and have an answer to that recast. If you don't have Beatrix with Paladin's protection. You can use Nine, as you saw in this video. You can use Reno with his pyramid buff. You just need debuff. You just need to make sure that um, the enemy doesn't go under one of those HP thresholds at either the 70% mark, the 50%, or the 30% mark, so that you know the debuff isn't erased or anything. Other than that, um, this fight's a little tricky. Definitely don't feel bad if you're struggling on this one. If you have any questions about how to win this fight, you can always wait for Macnall's DissidiaInfo.com guide. Those things are baller, and they will explain this fight in a way that I never could in a technical manner, or in a very easy to understand manner, because it explains what each step is and how it will occur. Uh, another, another choice is, of course, just ask me here. I'll, I'll see if I can answer it best as I can if you're having any problems. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, please stay cool and have fun.